Conclusion. What's scary and eye-opening about my mom's example with her aneurysm has to do with politics, unfortunately. Joe Biden, Mr. Joe Biden, former vice president, had an aneurysm. and has difficulty when talking, showing similar signs, providing information similar to what my mom has for her difficulty. And in world, and for Mr. Joe Biden, with his family and nice lifestyle, there wouldn't be much to talk about for him as a man in the United States of America, having freedom a caring wife who was a professor at a college, an instructor at a college, a teacher at a college, who's well-educated. Giving him assistance as I've helped my mother now. Most likely. What gets difficult and very treacherous has to do with planet Earth and other civilizations, other parts of an agreed upon world and countries and states, islands and other lands and soil. Now, a Secret Service, a White House, staff, administration, vice president, with him as a president, must minimalize and would have to limit confusion. In other words, a man with a Confederate flag and a Tibetan Buddhist tattoo in China or in Hawaii during a critical press conference with another world leader in a room with sensitive documents and materials changes a choice, potentially temporarily momentarily but as a commander-in-chief of one of the strongest and most powerful militaries in the world those lapses and difficulty with other leaders in civilizations has repercussions. It makes opportunity for those who see what to 
attack. And tactics, strategies. and policies now. Getting sick, having a condition nobody can medically solve and only treat with what my mom does and her uncle's plain Amish house in Arkansas and Little Rock. Joe Biden's joking and laughing and having fun with sensitive jokes and strange words and language and sentences and press conferences and speeches now. Limit and reduce a presidency to an assistant to a vice president elected with a commander in chief. Woman or man, man or woman. Though inherently different than what a constitutional founder conceived when they made a country free and proud now. I'm not talking about UFOs and aliens and classified documents about landings and crashes and discoveries of treasures in oceans now. free speech and a fair discussion medically about what's actually beneficial in a country with violence and riots and Black Lives Matter and Antifa and coronavirus pandemic economic recovery now. A person can only sit in a room such as what I have for a home, an apartment, an ashram, a studio, and solve and solve and solve and solve and decide and decide and decide until I need food and energy. I need to go to a library to pick up more books now. Anybody can stand and say what to do. Anybody can do what they say they need to do for people to be safe and secure and healthy. But hiding medical information and demanding from the other candidate current Mr. President Donald Trump, his taxes and financial documents on dollars and cents and pennies and nickels he spent and gave, invested, and has in his bank account now. The USA in about two months 
has to decide with all the violence and all of the killing and all of the anger and all of the emotional, social, and communist propaganda and graffiti, anarchy, and now, how much they want to accomplish and how much they want to begin doing as a secret civilization in society, a secret part of the world, similar to the Cold War in the 1900s. Ignoring valid discussion to have someone who speaks eloquently and dresses so sexy with their face mask and has a woman next to them and a man who's so tall and scary and fearful and vulgar And whether to decide who builds, who engineers, who feeds those who need energy to have brain, body, in a world with nonviolence, peace, and calm now. 